All right, I'm taking my white cake mix and I'm placing that right into our mixing bowl, just like so. And we're gonna follow the directions on the back of the box. I'm coming in with three eggs and I'm placing that right into our bowl as well. And I'm taking a half cup of oil and a cup of water. And we're just gonna mix this for our spooky dessert this afternoon. Give that a good mix. Beautiful. You can use a hand mixer, but I think that just this regular whisk works just as well. And for this recipe, I do recommend using a white cake because we're going to be going in with some spooky colors for the season of Halloween. And make sure all of those dry ingredients are nice and mixed. Put some muscle into it, even though we've already been to the gym today. Make sure all of those clumps are out. Oh, look at that beautiful color. And that consistency is exactly what we need. All right, now that I have that all mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 13 by nine. Perfect, just like so. I'm gonna be going in with just our butter flavored cooking spray, giving that a good shake. And make sure that this cake does not stick. We're gonna be spraying our entire pan with that. Beautiful. And we want a nice deep 13 by nine for this recipe. And we're just gonna go right down the middle beautiful Ooh, i love a good just simple white betty crocker or pillsbury cake my family loves these kinds of cakes too all right make sure we get all of that right into our 13 by 9 and you could use a spatula for this part too but my whisk is doing the job just fine Beautiful. All right, now that we have our cake all mixed, I have my oven preheated for 350. We're gonna place this in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, now that we have our holes poked into our white cake, we're going in with our gelatin mix and some hot water. I have my red gelatin and I'm just gonna be placing just a touch of the hot water right into our gelatin mix. And we're doing red, green, and orange for this recipe. And with that red, what we're gonna be adding is our classic blue food dye to make a purple for this spooky dessert. And I'm just gonna grab a touch of that to make that purple that we really want and need. I'm gonna go in with my spoon and we're just gonna stir that very gently. Oh, that's gonna be a black, which is also Halloween, so we are okay with that. Oh, we got some purple in there as well. Oh. Perfect, and I just grab the Jello Instant and all you need to add is hot water, just like so. And we have our cake right over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna go into those little pockets and don't be afraid to be messy. This is kind of like a little fun Halloween poke cake. Perfect, beautiful. Next, I'm gonna be going in with our green because tis the spooky season. I'm gonna go in those corners where I didn't get that kind of purpley black, just like so. And then our last color that we're using, orange, of course, for Halloween. And I'm going into those pockets that we haven't hit, just like so. And with that white cake, oh, it's gonna be a beautiful tie-dye of all of our spooky Halloween flavors. Perfect, and with that gelatin, we need to set our cake in the fridge for about an hour. Wow, look at how amazing this turned out. Okay, now that we've had that chilled, I'm going in with my Cool Whip, just the original. You can also feel free to use the extra creamy. I've had this sitting out for about an hour, and we're just gonna go in with that Cool Whip, and we're gonna top our lovely, spooky Halloween cake just like so oh yummy nice and fluffy beautiful all right and we cannot forget our extra spooky sprinkles too so we're going to be grabbing our orange black and green sprinkles once we have this all ready oh yum okay perfect i'm going in with my green sprinkles for a little added Pop of color. Oh, this is gonna be super fun and festive for your Halloween party, for the kids. Oh, that black, look at, oh my gosh. Perfect. And then of course we can't forget 
our traditional just orange and black sprinkles, right? Beautiful. And kind of just different kind of sprinkles just to add some fun textures to that cake. And we are ready to serve. I have my spatula and I'm just gonna go right into this corner piece now that that jello set. And this is gonna be the best part. All right, we are ready. Oh my gosh, look at all those fun colors underneath there. Woo! And you can feel free to do any kind of colors, you know, green and red for Christmas. But these colors just were very indicative of Halloween. Oh my gosh, look at how fun that looks. The orange, our blue kind of spooky green. Oh my gosh, how fun! We can't forget all of those delicious Halloween sprinkles. I am ready. Oh my gosh, with that gel, it stays so moist. Ooh, yummy, delicious, and fun.